Hi everyone! In the previous video, we looked at uh, an introduction to sine, cosine, and tangent. In this video, let's go through some more example problems. So the first one, if I have a triangle, a right triangle, and I know that my hypotenuse is 10, my uh, this side, let's say, is 9. This side is 25. Okay. I want to know what this angle x is and also what cosine of x is. Okay. So let's begin. Again, before starting, let's write down the three key terms. So, ka, toa. Okay, so in the beginning, it's okay to write down, uh, write this down before every problem you solve. But as you go on, this should sort of become memory and less writing down, so you can save some more time. Okay, so let's let's begin. We have two sides of the right angle triangle, so we can easily find the third side, whatever this third side is, using um, Pythagorean theorem. Right, so we know that the hypotenuse squared, 10 squared, equals the sum of the side squared. So 9 squared plus, I'm just going to call that a, a squared. Right, now if I subtract 9 squared from both sides, I have 10 squared minus 9 squared equals a squared. 10 squared is 100 minus 9 squared is 81 equals a squared. Well, um, 100 minus 81, that leaves me with 19 equals a squared. So my a, if I take the square roots of both sides, a equals the square root of 19. Okay, so I can put that down here, square root of 19. Now to find x, that's fairly simple. We don't need any uh, trigonometric knowledge, we just need to know that the angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees, which means that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So we know that 90 plus 25 plus x must equal 180. So 90 plus 25, that's 115 plus x must equal 180. So x equals, subtracting 115 from both sides, x equals 180 minus 115. So x would be, let's see, that's uh, 65 degrees. Right, so x is 65. We can put that, and we can check that. 65 plus 25 is 90, and 90 and 90 is 180. So this is our value for x. Now to find the cosine of x, cosine of x, we know from here that that equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse. My x is 65, so cosine of 65 equals my adjacent, so the adjacent side to x is 9, 9 over the hypotenuse, which is square root of 19. So this would be our answer. Okay, let's look at another example here. If I have a triangle, like that, let that be our 90 degrees, let this be some angle theta. And if the question says, if the sine of theta equals half, what is the cosine of theta? Okay, so the question is saying, the sine of this angle is half. What is the cosine? Again, before we start, let's put down our knowledge. We know so Ka toa. Right, and this is going to help us in almost every trigonometric problem. 
so let's begin. Now the sine is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine here would be sine of this would be the opposite sign, this over that. And I know that that's equal to 1 over 2. So I can put that down here, 1 over 2, right? Because if I take the sine, that should equal the opposite over the hypotenuse. And it tells me that that is 1 half. So I'm just going to put that down here. And now it asks me, what is the cosine of that? So the cosine going back here, we know is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side to this angle is here. So this x. So we need, first to solve this, we need x. And again, we can find that using Pythagorean theorem. So the hypotenuse square, 2 squared, is equal to the sum of the side squares. So 1 squared plus x squared. Subtracting 1 squared from both sides, 2 squared minus 1 squared equals x squared. So that's 4 minus 1 equals x squared. Oops. Squared. 3 equals x squared. So taking the square root of both sides, my x is equal to 3. Uh, sorry, sorry, square root of 3. Yeah, square taking the square roots of both sides. This cancels out. x is equal to the square root of 3. Right, now that we have that, we can go ahead and solve for cosine. So the cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent side is root 3. Root 3 over hypotenuse, which is 2. And that's going to be my answer. Thank you.